you know, it helps to take a step back and realize how long this team has been forming and how long we've been building to this moment in time. The riders you see here in this room applied to do this ride in the fall of 2020, given everything else going on in the world, everything that had changed, they said, I'm willing to take on something hard, something that could be life-changing, something that's gonna be really meaningful and something that is bigger than myself. When we first started, back in the spring of 2021, we were all completely on Zoom. I didn't see a teammate in person until maybe a volunteering event later on in the spring. And then once we had started going in person, every day I would kind of like look as people came in and like try to put the name to the face. And it, it really took a while to get there and really know everyone and not just know the name and the face, but know their story and why they were there. I joined this organization to honor my mother who uh, passed away from breast cancer about 10 years ago. Through the years coming to, to know how to, to talk to people about that, I realized that there's a lot of strength that comes from being vulnerable with other people. And Texas 4000 really embodied that for me. It embodied that notion of going out and showing the world who you are and what you've been through and helping people through that. It brings people together in a way that I've never been connected to other people. We drive past the gas station, they see Texas 4000, they see fighting cancer every mile, and it's that second line, fighting cancer every mile, that draws in so many people. That second semester, we really started to bond with our routes because we knew who we were gonna be spending this summer with. We got our bikes the week before school started and started bike training, which was a first for a lot of people, and it was really fun to see everyone kind of excel in something that they had never done before. Yeah, you sign up for this thing and you're thinking about those long days in the sun biking, but you're not thinking about all that volunteering that you have to do, all that money that you have to raise, and it is a lot of work. But fortunately, we have some great people here that were our volunteer chairs, that were our fundraising chairs, and they helped us figure it out. Each rider has to raise $4,500 to be able to go on the summer ride. And the money that we raise is super important because that money goes out to grants to different organizations. And so each dollar that a rider fundraises helps bring more grants to things such as cancer support services and cancer research. The pandemic made it difficult in a lot of ways. It, it made it difficult to fundraise for some and it just really changed the way that the organization functions, but the team is so excited to go back to Anchorage. I know we haven't been there since 2019, and I think we are really excited to be able to see those people that haven't gotten to see us in a while. I think that starting on day zero, the ride was a bit of a mystery. I did not know what to expect. I didn't know what the places were going to look like that we were biking through. I didn't know the people that we were going to meet. There's this one quote that I was reading a book from the summer and it was, I have seen and experienced things I never even dreamed of. And I feel like that's what this summer has been for me. And that's what our journey this summer has been. It was really scary coming into this, knowing that every single day we'd be riding on a bike, every single day we'd be waking up right at sunrise and hopping on. But I think the thing, that was the most fun was waking up, turning to the person that you're sharing a tent with or sleeping next to in your sleeping bag and go, we're riding a bike today. And that's kind of all we had to worry about, you know, and that, that is such a beautiful thing. As the ride went on, you just get used to it and you really just love to take in the scenery around you, the people that you interact with. Without that compassion, without that caringness, you can't continue on for 70 days. It's just really hard and I think that all of us understanding each other's feelings and validating each other's feelings and emotions at any given time of day really meant that we could stick it out for 70 days straight. I think your commitment and your endurance are really profound reminders of the strength of the human spirit, um, something which is stronger than anything that can really happen to it. And on behalf of Abbott and our neuromodulation division, we are extremely honored to be the presenting sponsor for the summer ride and of our strategic partnership with Texas 4000 in the fight against cancer. Throughout this summer, having Abbott 
you know, riding through San Francisco, going through the neuromodulation department, riding with those people, having Ozarks pass through uh, like ABBA facilities as well, has been really great to know that there is a true level of support. You know, it's not support just with like services or resources. It's kind of the hands-on, hey, if you're coming through our area, let's ride together. I want to hear about what you're doing. Let's visit each other. Um, but obviously as, you know, pandemic things were shifting, having Abbott at our side was pivotal. We never really had to worry about getting tests for, for our riders when people became ill. And I think without that, we probably would not be here today. And that's why I'm so proud to be here today because organizations such as Texas 4000 reclaim the sinister connotations of cancer and truly remind us that the unconquerable can indeed be conquered. That might have been the most powerful thing from this trip because I came to learn just how much bigger this ride is than myself and my reasons. And the people that have asked me and my teammates to ride for them or ride for their loved ones, it quickly became the case that, you know, this ride is no longer for us, but for all of the communities that we touch. And I think that's what really makes T4K special is just spreading hope in that way. I think it's a huge privilege, honestly, to be able to go to Anchorage, to be able to go through Canada and be able to connect again with our hosts that we haven't been able to connect with in the past three years. We got to interact with a lot of historic hosts and just being able to hear how they have supported teams before us meant the world because we know it's a huge undertaking to be able to cook for 24 people and provide them a place to stay, but it really just made us feel so welcome and so at home, even though our home was changing every single night. This morning was so special to hear about the impact that Pastor Dan had on this organization, the impact this organization had on Pastor Dan. I'm so thankful to all of you that you have continued this and that you fought your way here. <laughs> because I know it was hard. And so just thank you so much. We do this in honor of my mom, Pastor Dan, my dad, and for my husband. But I think every single time I interact with a host that has continued to support this organization the way that they have, it gives me hope, it gives me inspiration that people can come together and rally behind the cause that 70 something college students are trying to do. Um, and it makes me just so grateful to know that there are so many people out there that we have never met and that we only meet for one day. Their stories and their battles inspire me to like push through in my lowest moments and to be reminded that it's like such a privilege to be able to ride in honor of them and for them and to be able to be alongside them with their journey. I don't even know if I can fathom day 70 there's so much excitement around it. When I think of the accomplishments of the team so far, it has been a lot of impact and vulnerability. So, you know, thinking and connecting with others and also thinking about ourselves and looking more inner. On day 70, I really hope to just think about all those interactions with each other and just the hope that we give each other while also looking forward to see my family at the finish line. I think we're all been itching to see our families and our loved ones for a long time and to also, you know, put this massive accomplishment behind us, but we're going to miss each other a lot. And, you know, a lot of us are going our separate ways in our adult lives now, but uh, we've all talked quite a bit about just making a conscious effort to stay in touch and hopefully preserving what we built out here. You have already chosen to be courageous leaders. Let this be only the beginning. As we say here at the University of Texas, what starts here changes the world. We are so grateful for you. We are proud of how you represent your university, your state, your generation. They could choose anything in the world to do this summer, and they chose to ride for somebody who is really hurting. You know, it's something that, that these kids can look back on the rest of their lives, and, and they will always have that sense of accomplishment and the friends they've made, and, and the, the stories they have to tell, the people they've met along the way, it's just something that's going to stick with them the rest of their lives. What we did this summer was not always fun and it was not always easy, but it was amazing. 
and I wouldn't have wanted to do it with any other group of crazies by my side. Every mile we pedaled was worth it, and I'm so very, very grateful to call each and every one of you my family now.